Here is my final product. Text features print versus online by Mrs. Carl. Subheading. A subheading is used to help me identify topics on a web page as I scan the site page with my eyes. That is my subheading. The subheading in my book helps me know that the filmmaker's name is Hugo Van Lawick. The subheading on my Britannica website helps me know that Britannica and Iowa AEA Online work together to make this website for my use. Italics, which is a font style. Font style is used to help me notice important words or catch my attention. The font style in my book helps me imagine the leopard leaping and touching the ground as it runs. The font style on Learn360 shows me the specific name of the leopard. All right, so that's my finished look. Let's, I will now show you how to polish and finish up yours. Hold on while I back it up. Okay, so here is your done product in the same shape as my done product before I put the polishing touches on it. So to start with, let's get a little background. Over here in my view, I have the navigator. Make sure that's what you have also. And then I don't have format or animate or document up. If you just keep clicking on it, they stop being a choice. So first, we're going to get a background going. So you're going to click on the format button. And right here where it says background, it might be closed, you're going to do a gradient fill. You go ahead and pick the two colors that you want to use. I don't care which two you use. Notice I'm over here, I'm flipping them around. You just need two, kind of partial to blue and, and orange. I don't know why, I just like how they work together. But I'll make myself use two others. And you can play with the angle and notice how they change the look for each one. But you want to pick the same two colors for each two. Oh, maybe I'll go with that. So remember the colors you have. Do the background, gradient fill. It will automatically pick the same two colors once you've done it once. Play with those different features, see how they work. Just pick the same two colors for all three. I'll pause here while you pick those colors. Go to slide two. And you're going to click on one of the photos. And when you click on a photo, it'll automatically change to style here. We're still in format. Let's put a border on that. Put a line. Five point is way too thick. Try two point. That looks good. Do the same thing for the bottom photo for your Britannica. Put a line around it. Make it match the one above. Go to your third slide. Put a line around that. I think for this one, I'm going to play with this. I'm going to put a dash. Or maybe I'll put the little splash. Whatever you pick, don't let it overpower the page. You just want to make these pictures stand out a little bit. And then do the same thing for the bottom one. And the reason you're picking the same thing is because that makes the page look more polished. Okay, go ahead and get border on all four of your photos. After you put a border, then it's time to animate. We'll go up here and we'll change to animate. We're going to animate the titles. I'm going to pick the same animation for each title on each page. So our build in 
You have all kinds of choices. You can play around, pick what you want. Yeah, that works for me. I'm going to do that for each one. So that was Anvil. Notice I have to click on it in order to get it. Okay. Then I'm going to pick a build for my name, make it interesting. Oh, what's that one? Oh, yeah, that works for me. Then you're going to click on all your words, and we're going to add an effect. You can pick whichever one you want. except the delivery is going to be by bullet group. Notice I'm down here. Delivery by bullet group. Okay? Because, and then you're going to go do each photo. Add an effect. Look, I didn't like that one. Okay, that works for me. They don't have to be the same. You can make them different. So when you have that done on this one card or slide, go to Build Order. This is the order they're going to come in. So if you click on it, you'll notice it's chosen here. This is my subheading. And these are my three bullet points. But you want the photo to come in with the bullet point that you're talking about. So you're going to record yourself doing this. And the first one you're going to read is the first bullet point. And then you want this photo to come in next. And that's this image. Yours will be named slightly different. But you know it's that one because when you have it clicked here and it's blue, it's chosen here. See the white dots? You know it's chosen. You want the Britannica one to come in right before you start talking about it. So your build order is going to be the heading, the first paragraph, the top photo, the next paragraph, the bottom photo, and your last paragraph. I'll leave that there for a moment while you get that done. And then you'll just put an X here. Then you're going to go to your last one and you can do the same thing. You're going to add an effect for your, for your build add an effect for these, and then you're going to do the build order so that the build order is in the exact same order as the second slide. I'll pause there so you can go get that done. All right, now how to turn this in. So to turn this in, you're going to go File, Export to, QuickTime. It's going to choose QuickTime, playback is your slideshow, that's your format, say next. If yours opens like this, then you're going to click right here on this arrow. On the left, go to your documents. If you're a sixth grader, you'll have a keyboarding six folder. If you're a seventh grader, you'll have a computer app folder. Print versus online is the name of this. Right behind online, I want you to add your name. Leave the M4V there. Okay. Say export. Let it do its job. I'll hit pause while my fin mine finishes. No reason for you to watch it do that. When it is done, you can save and quit your keynote. And then you're going to go to your text features folder. At the bottom, you'll see where you now have a print versus online. And it's this look because it's an assignment. And you click on it. And yours is going to look slightly different than mine because I'm not a student, okay? So you'll see a spot where it allows you to do a submission. 
and it will allow you to upload a file and this is where you have to rely on each other and figure out how to do that. But just remember you've saved it into your documents folder and you've called it print versus online and it has your name and you're going to submit it right here. And then you are all done with text features other than studying them. And here's a good spot to work on studying them. Study links for text features. You should start using all of these now because we will take a post test on all the text features during the first uh, the week of November 7th. So start studying.